Hello, I'm Dr. Maury Markman from Cancer Treatment Centers of America, and I would like to briefly discuss uh, a very interesting uh, topic, one that is often discussed in the oncology literature and with patients. Uh, the paper I'm referring to is entitled, What Proportion of Patients with Stage 3 Ovarian Cancer Are Potentially Cured Following Intraperitoneal Chemotherapy? Analysis of the Long-Term Greater Than 10 Years survivors of NRG, GOG, randomized clinical trials of intraperitoneal and intravenous chemotherapy in stage three ovarian cancer. This paper was published in Gynecologic Oncology um, a little earlier this year, 2022, volume 166, pages 410 to 416. Again, the question that is often asked is, really, what percentage of patients who are treated for advanced ovarian cancer can be anticipated to have their disease respond, achieve a complete response, and then not recur. This was a very interesting analysis. Three um, very well done, basically randomized trials conducted a number of years ago that really asked, asked very similar questions. The question of intraperitoneal versus intravenous chemotherapy, all platinum-based in the management of advanced ovarian cancer. Since the studies um, were actually very similar in terms of their chemotherapy, except for IV versus IP. And since these patients were followed very carefully for a long period of time, the potential exists to actually ask that question. How many patients are alive at 10 years following therapy? And how many of those patients are potentially disease-free at 10 years where we can probably begin to ask the question, are they cured? So in this particular situation. Um, these are three very mature randomized trials. In the three trials, a total of 1,174 patients, so a very large patient population was randomized. And 26% of these patients at the completion of therapy, and now 10 years later, were alive. And the specific question asked is, what percentage of these patients at 10 years were not only alive, but disease-free? The answer was 18%. So it is reasonable to conclude, based upon these data, with a population that's looked at now of over 1,000 patients, that one in five individuals, approximately 20%, with advanced ovarian cancer, undergoing optimal surgery, optimal platinum-based chemotherapy, and this was, of course, the days before the days of PARP inhibitors, which are now used, uh, or or even bevacizumab, which is now widely used, platinum-based chemotherapy, one out of five patients, can be anticipated to be disease-free at 10 years and very possibly cured of the malignancy. Very important observation, a very important number and percentage to consider in discussing with your patients what the opportunities are for the disease to respond and not come back. I thank you for your attention. For those of you interested in this question, I refer you to read this uh, very interesting paper that appeared in Gynecologic Oncology. Again, thank you for your attention.